This is where we had different hair uh, that was very interesting. We had the ramen noodle head, we had the uh, pineapple hair, we had the Ronald McDonald hair, we had the frosted tip hair, and then we had actual normal hair JC. For me, it was a fun, ridiculous time, which I will never take for granted ever, to you know perform in front of 60,000 people every night, to do something like that. It's an amazing rush and it's a weird feeling. Uh, for me, it made me actually more humble. It made me more humble to realize, to go, man, that many people listen to us. That many people actually came out to see us. I always cared about what everybody thought. And it's like, that's just gonna eat you alive, whether it's good or bad. Because if it's good, you're gonna have an ego. Whether it's bad, you're gonna you know, have you know, low self-esteem. So you try to take it with a grain of salt. You know, you're not gonna please everybody. You're not gonna make everybody happy. And that's okay. With us, we were such a tight knit ship. We didn't let it get to us what was going on around us. And that's why I think we were so successful. You can't get more American than New York than the Statue of Liberty behind you. I mean, I was that rambunctious kid, you know, I just, I was always just outgoing, I think I was. But then on top of that, it was weird. I was always nervous as well. One of the things I remembered actually is I went to a college program for kids and I went for a break dancing class and a photography class. So when I actually went to these classes, there were kids that I've never met before and I freaked out and I literally had a panic attack. I remember running out of the classroom scared. You know, my, my dad really talked me through that kind of stuff. When you do something silly or make fun of yourself or make something funny or whatever that case may be, what's the worst they're gonna do? Laugh, okay? Big deal, you made them laugh. It's always interesting for me to people when I see them like, oh, I can never do that. There's no way I, I, I get stage fright. I go, who cares? Who cares what people say? What are they gonna think? You know, you're, you're doing, you're acting a character, playing a part, it's not you. So, you know, that's, that's, that's the way you can get away with it. You know, and have fun. We're actually, if you can't tell, we're sitting in a tub. That's a jacuzzi right there, actually. We were showing how big the jacuzzi was. That is my buddy Sean with the blonde hair, and that is Luis Fonzi, uh, that king that, that sings Despacito in the middle. Uh, some people do, some people don't. Uh, I was in an acapella group with Fonzi uh, back in the day called The Big Guys with two other uh, buddies of mine from high school. You know, I always tell him, I'm very proud of him and everything, and excited for all he's done, but he's just a very smart businessman, and what he does is well, but also enjoys his life and his family. He works hard, but he also plays hard, which is fun, you know, and that's kind of what, what we've been known to, I guess, even in high school. You know, we, we, we worked hard doing our plays and, and singing in choral, uh, chorus, but then also we played hard. We, we messed around and we were stupid. We were guys, we were rambunctious. I knew where I came from. You know, that's the good thing about it. I always know, I never forget where I came from in the sense of I know what I did to get me here. I'm not like, oh yeah, I don't know about those guys. I don't know what happened to them. So, you know, still talk to them and everything else. So I, I've made longtime friends that I'm still friends with, with Fonzie and Sean and my buddy Sean. So I'm still friends with these people. I still have friends I've known since kindergarten still too, to this day. That's Chloe, that's my little one. She hugs and loves everybody. Well, my, my daughter's on the spectrum of autism. When I say to people too, you know, oh, she's on the spectrum. And people see her and say, like, oh, well, she's normal. I'm like, yeah, well, to you on the outside, you're looking, but when you're asking her certain things or you're seeing certain things, you'll see there's certain quirks or certain tics. And there's, again, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a different way that they learn. Finding out the right connections on honestly on, on, on breaking points to unlock how they understand or where it connects. And no one seems to honestly know 100% the formula or what that is about. There's so many different things and I'm not an expert on it. She's, she's taught me so much on, on how to think outside the box, how to not be so judgmental on things. And also how to, you know, really, really take your time and think things through. When you get older, you, you, you tend to do older things. Joey, what are you doing? What, Lance? Hey man, I can't hear you, I'm listening to Kids Bob. Kids Bob came out around the same time we did. So it's 20 years, 20th birthday for Kids Bob. Me and Lance are actually doing a thing for Kids Bob, uh, doing a competition where people have to dance uh, Bye Bye Bye, which I think is awesome. For kids that are out there, you know, and practice makes perfect. Go, go out there and get out there, whatever that may be in the field that you're doing. You love to perform, get out there, do the auditions, do the local thing, and then branch off maybe later on into bigger cities if you can. People always think that they have to be big, uh, a celebrity or artist um, in, in the world to be known. 
nowadays, you could be an amazing artist in Florida. People always had that dream, but as long as if you're comfortable and happy, I can perform in front of five people and five million people, and the performance will be just the same, and the and the excitement and the gratification for me will be the same because I just love performing. I love either telling stories or going, you know, through kind of a journey or or just putting, you know, a smile on people's faces. That's that's what's fun. That's what fuels me. That's what really fuels me.